As we move to a cleaner world and we aim to reduce carbon and have cleaner air, all of the low carbon technologies are sort of a piece of that and a lot of them are electricity dependent. So UK Power Networks is a distribution network and what that does is it delivers energy from generators and distributes it to homes and businesses. So at the moment across our network we have just around about 70,000 plug-in vehicles connected to our network today with no loss of supply. So no problem um, and ultimately what we're doing is preparing for 2030 which we expect about 4.1 million electric vehicles. So we've been doing a lot of work uh, as UK Power Networks specifically in the innovation space to ready a toolbox, a toolbox of smart solutions that we can deploy. We are working with over 60 companies um, and organizations across our EV portfolio. And across that, it's different companies from NGOs uh, to small startups to big companies like Royal Mail, Uber, charge point operators. Through the Go Ultra Low City scheme, we've been putting a lot of residential charging across London and UKPN's been helping us with uh, locating the best sites for that and, and supporting the installation. And TfL itself has been installing a, a lot of rapid charges, mainly to meet the needs of the electric taxis. Uh, we've now got over 200 in London and we're going to have 300 by the end of next year. London's transport is going electric and so we need to work really closely with UKPN to plan how the energy system is going to look like in the future. The biggest challenge we have is understanding when EVs are actually going to happen, refining our forecasts of um, when and where people will need the infrastructure. We've got a few tools to cover that uncertainty risk because we're a large infrastructure business. We're really good at building infrastructure. So as you can see on the screen here, we've got all the charging stations that surround us at the moment, so there's quite a few. Our challenge is to bash down the barrier of range anxiety and give people range confidence. So ultimately networks are at the centre of the decarbonisation journey and collaboration is key. We class ourselves as the most EV ready network and ultimately we couldn't have done this alone. We've gathered around common campfires. Three years ago I knew nothing about electric vehicles. I now own an electric vehicle and, and have absolutely converted. And that was because I surrounded myself with those who know better. And the beauty of it is the strong relationships and bonds we formed. The energy sector and the transport sector converging for a common goal. Huge amount of cables that come in from the top because every single one of them goes to each charger. We have the ambition to, you know, be the enabler of the electrification of transport. So we need to definitely work with the government because they are the ones that are setting the targets. And in that sense, working with local authorities, we need to work, for example, with the bus operators. We need to understand how black cabs are going to be charging. Obviously having the charge point put in at home, I knew I would be charging every night at home. And then if you're out and about and you, you want to charge, you can charge on the, on the charge points that are in town. Do you think this is sort of the future and that actually it does make sense for everyone to go electric? Oh, they're definitely the future. Now that I'm an EV driver and living the dream, I can definitely see that this will come down to consumer choice. It's so pleasurable, it's cheap to operate the vehicle, so it gives me and my executive team more confidence that we need to get the network ready in time for this revolution. As we move into the future, electric vehicles are actually just increasing the need for more electricity. And I think it's our responsibility to ultimately keep the lights on and operate and maintain the infrastructure. Whilst the challenge is big ahead of us, networks are used to delivering infrastructure. This is our bread and butter. And what's been really interesting as we've decarbonized our performance has got better and better. And that's the trajectory we plan to keep delivering.